What's up guys, here's Claudio from Visual Moto WordPress Teams and in today's video we're gonna learn how to add a variable switcher, okay, so for example a color variable switcher into the WooCommerce products, okay, so simple, easy and for free. As you can check, normally WooCommerce let you add variable products, however, you cannot have this graphical part of little colors that you can select, for example, okay? With this nice tool tip and the color indicator. And this is what we're gonna learn into this video. However, before we can start, please take a moment to hit the subscribe button, like this video and share this content with a friend of yours. You have no idea how much it helps us, okay? Because we bring daily videos about WordPress, SEO, plugins, and many more topics. Okay, after this made, let's go to our WordPress dashboard. I always like to start the videos on the dashboard to make it equal for everyone. Once on it, review the left side of menus into your sidebar menus and hover your mouse over the plugins eating. Okay, once on it, click on add new. Into the upper right corner, we're gonna type variable switchers for WooCommerce, okay? And the one that you're gonna be installing, in my case the plugin is already installed, so we're gonna see the activate button. However, on your case, you're gonna need to click on install now, and after this, click on activate. This is my favorite one, okay? However, there is others, as you can check, there is a lot of variable plugins for WooCommerce. I like this one, okay? Click on install, after this, click on activate button. This gonna redirect you to the plugins list where you can see a list of all the correctly active or installed plugins on your WordPress website. Remember that before we can install this plugin, you must have WooCommerce plugin active set up and you must have some products on your store. If you don't know how to do this, go back or click into one of the links into the card over here or the description below of this video so you can learn how to use WooCommerce, how to activate it, okay? After this, you can see here is the variation switcher for WooCommerce, okay? You can go to settings. Right here are the settings of the plugin. We have the square style, the rotated. We can the, have the convert the full drop downs and enable style sheet. We have other options like the advanced. We have the styling. We have the product page, the archive shop page, this is for only for premium users, special attributes only from premium, the group, some tutorial, and more useful free plugins. After this, let's get it started. First of all, we're gonna need to go to our products into the left side bar of menus and create some attributes, okay? The unique attribute that I'm gonna be creating is the one called color because I want to have this switcher right here from product colors. I'm gonna enable this on archive. This is gonna create an archive for this color. All the products listed on this color. It helps into the shop search, so up to you, but I recommend that you create one. The type, that is the most important part, can be color, image, button, or radio, okay? I'm gonna choose color. And custom ordering, name or turn. Click on add attribute. So right here we have the color. Now we're gonna need to create some colors, okay? So click on it. Now add new color. Let's create a new color. A pink color. Now you must select a pink color. Let's create a blue color. 
now onto the color switcher. I'm gonna select, I'm gonna pick a blue color, a black color, and a white color. Maybe another one, a green one. Okay, now we have five colors set, okay? Now we're gonna call those colors into a product, okay? So let's go to the products tab. Once right here, I'm gonna choose one of our products. I think this one, summer dress. The very first thing to do is to scroll the product a little bit down and you can see this part right here, the product data. It must be a variable product, okay? And you have you must have stock for this product, okay? You must have uh, an, an amount of products, okay? Let me update it. Let me go see the product into the shop. This is the view that the user is gonna have. As you can see, there is no inventory. I'm gonna need to manage stock quantity. You can enter the SKU for logistics, okay? For stock management, the amount, the stock quantity. Now let's update it. After managing the stock, we're gonna enter with the attributes, okay? Right here, we're gonna select our color. Save attributes. Color are added. Now, we're gonna speak all the colors that we have for this product. visible on the product page. Save attributes. Let me update the product. Still nothing to show because we did not set it up yet. Okay. Now what else you can do? Go to the variations. Okay. So right here into the color attributes, okay, we most select this option, use it for variations, save attributes. This is the setting missing, okay, the missing setting. After this, into variations, we have add variations, create variations from all attributes, okay, go. So right here we have all the variations. Let me update the product so we can keep it saved. Let's review the product. Still no stock. This is just because now we must select one by one, okay? Color by color. Into the black, the SQ, the price, the wage, the dimensions, the sale price, the shipping and the description. Same for blue. 
green. Pink and white. Save chains. Let's update the bottom, the product. And here is our product. So now you have all of the bottoms right here. You can set different prices for every single color of your products, okay? No need to worry. In my case, I did set all as the same price. We can hide this amount in stock, but you can show if you want to create the, the missing feeling, okay? But you now have all of this set up and running for free. Simple, right? You can change this for images, for example, in the case that you are in needs, for example, changing the images that you can select, for example, you can do the sorting and the switching according to your needs. But now that you have the tool, you can use your creativity and build yours. Let's go back to the feature settings, okay? I have added a new color, a uh, yellow color, and can you see that when I click into the pink, for example, the image does not change? This is because we did not upload a different image for the product into the pink color. Let's do this right now. Select the pink attribute, right here into this image icon, upload an image, click on it, and this is gonna open your gallery where you can upload a different image, or for example, select one of the previously uploaded. After it is made, click on save chains, go to the product, update it. Now, let's review the results. Now, if I select the pink color, the image change. Let's choose a different one, for example, to the white color now. Once again, variations, white, I'm gonna click on it, I'm gonna click into the image icon, let me choose one of the, the image to be the white one, I think this one is okay, maybe, mm, I don't have a white picture, no problem, let's choose a yellow one. Now we have two different images. I recommend that you have a different image for every single color, okay? So it can fit on the color right here. So the default is pink, green, blue, wrong image <laughs> no problem let's switch it back this one for the dark and there's another one to the yellow let's save change Let's update the product. Now, the yellow is this one, the dark, the pink, the white. Simple and easy, right? Let me know into the comments below in the case that you have any question. And don't forget to check out our Borderless WordPress plugin in order to have more widgets, elements, templates and tools and even pre-built up sites that you can import with a single click to install this for free. Just go to our WordPress dashboard, plugins, add new, search for borders, click on install and activate it. In addition, in the case that you are in needs of the best free WordPress theme that you can download to gain templates, more pre-built websites that you can import with a single click, 
advanced menus, responsive, SEO friendly code and fast, go to our WordPress dashboard, appearance, themes, add new, search for Enzo and click on install, it's absolutely for free. And finally, in the case that you are in need of your site up and running faster with premium icons, extra design element, modern designs options, extra pre-built up sites, templates, pages, sections, and widgets, go to visualmoto.com, purchase the Enzo Pro, the Borderless Pro, or the Visual Moto Pass in order to have it all and go premium. And it is. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I see you tomorrow. All the best!